Uh, well, a month that is notorious for heavy snowstorms will potentially add to its lore this week. At one point, March was known as the snowiest month, but not anymore. When did March lose the distinction of snowiest month? And which month has taken the title? Good question. Jeff Wagner learned winter today is on a different schedule. What happens almost every March here? Pretty much snow. When high school hockey fans descend upon the Excel Energy Center, Mother Nature often joins them. You always are coming down here and there's extra snow on the ground. It's like a snow globe or it could be just downpouring of snow. Memories that influence our assessment. What would you consider to be the snowiest month of the winter? March. I feel like March. At one point, they were correct. It hasn't been true since the period from uh, 1951 through 1980. Kenny Blumenfeld is a senior climatologist with the DNR. What led to that transition of March losing that ranking? So the 1960s and 70s had some big, kind of famous, if you're a climatologist, kind of famous March snowstorms. Specifically in March, those storms raised the monthly average from 1950 to 1980, making it the snowiest of them all at nearly 12 inches. But as the decades went on, big March snowfalls fell off, and so did the month's ranking. It dropped to third place from 1970 to 2000, and it slipped to fourth over the most recent three decades. It's also been warming pretty quickly over the most recent five decades or so, and there's a good chance that we've lost some some storms that would have produced snow in the past to rain. Is there another winter month that's starting to ascend above the others? Yeah, the big mover. The big mover in recent years is February. Something we were reminded of a few weeks ago. Since 2000, seven of the 20 largest snowfalls in the Twin Cities hit in the year's shortest month. In Duluth, it's eight of 20, for Rochester, more than half. What is currently the snowiest month on average in Minnesota? On average right now, it's December. That's when measured over the most recent three decade stretch. If you want the all time average since records were kept, it's January. Basically every winter month prior to March has taken turns knocking it further down the list, but not when it comes to the sting of a late season storm. I feel like it's always like everybody's ready for spring and then you always get those one foot or six inch snowstorms in March. Jeff Wagner. It's like, oh my gosh. WCCO, <laughs> still winter. get us out of here. Yeah, yeah. Four news. Well, March still leads one list. Of the 25 largest snowstorms on record in the Twin Cities, seven happened in March. November has six.